Okay, hello everyone and good evening. Um, um, for micro uh, fundamentals of control, uh, we had a MATLAB session. It's more or less like practicals, but it's not hands-on. So those home as well, you're supposed to do it. So this is a video explaining how you're supposed to do it because um, we, were able, we weren't able to take videos during the class because it was quite inconvenient. So um, now she asked me to explain to you guys and you do it. And remember, this is 10% of the final score. So make sure you do it and you submit it. The submission date is four days after today, which is on um, Sunday. Sunday, okay. Okay, so we we will start with question. Um, so it's actually two different sessions, two different experiments. You are supposed to finish. First experiment has the first question is try to obtain the total transfer function of the block using MATLAB's series parallel and feedback program so this is the block we are supposed to minimize this block into a single block and then we get the transfer function these are the values or the transfer equations of g1 g2 g3 g4 g5 all right so we are going to put these into matlab one two three four four five into matlab and we are going to use matlab to reduce this right also i will show you how to write the report so no problem all right so the first one i've already written the code so as to make the video fast so i can uh, send it to you on uh on wechat so for the first one we type numerator right so we want to input the values of g1 g2 g3 g4 g5 so the first one numerator equals one. Why is it, is it one? Because um here yeah, one right yeah. So the second part is denominator is one zero one one. It's one zero one one because these are the coefficients of the function. So for here we have the highest order is three. So and the and the coefficient is one. The second order is x s squared but it's not available so the coefficient is zero and then we have s which is coefficient of one and then the constant one so we're gonna have one zero one one so after typing numerator which is equal to one the matlab will automatically give you this as in it is telling, it is telling the value of the numerator and then the denominator it is telling you the matrix of the denominator and then you shall write this function which is G1 is equal to TF means transfer function. So TF, numerator, denominator. So after typing this and pressing enter, MATLAB will print this for you. And as you can see, this is the equation for G1. Let's have, this is the equation for G1. All right, so we are gonna write the equation for G2. As you can see here, we have S. So because we have S, we are gonna write one as the coefficient of S, but we don't have a constant here so the constant is zero so we are supposed to write one zero for numerator so one um sorry this was a mistake so don't write this all right this is not needed so here is this is the numerator numerator one zero okay one zero and then the denominator we have one one because um as you can also see here we have s is one the uh, coefficient of s is one and then we have a constant which is one as well so here the same applies to this we have two and then we have here you have to expand it so if you expand it you have s squared minus 2s so the coefficient of s squared is what is one and then the coefficient of s is minus two and then the constant is zero so just like uh, uh, we said here as you can see numerator is two denominator is one minus two zero don't forget this zero so the g3 tier function is two over s squared minus two s all right so the same is going to happen to to g3 
So yeah, G4. So G4 S numerator. We are talking about numerator. Coefficient of S is one. Coefficient and then the constant is what minus one. Okay. Yeah. Constant is minus one. As you can see. So numerator one. Constant is minus one. Denominator is one, two, three. So here one, two, constant is three. And then we shall input that, that as well. So we are we end up having this function. So we are just inputting the functions into. So g5 is a constant, which is two. We just write g5 equals two. So now we are done inputting g1, g2, g3. Now let's simplify. Um the left half, sorry, left half. So we are going to simplify this part, the left half, this part. So as you can see here, this transfer function, this model and this model are in series. So we are going to add the two of them in series. And in series, we multiply. So we are going to write them in series. So the code here says T1 equals series. This is the code, series. G1 and G2 are in series. So T1 is the resource for the series combination of G1 and G2, which is T1 equals S over S exponent 4, this whole stuff. So after doing this, that means we've gotten T1 equals this, okay? Now, look here. When we combine here in series, we get only one value here, which is T1. Now, this T1 is in parallel with G3. So we are going to combine these two to in parallel. So here... Also, we have T2 is parallel, but G3 is parallel to a T1. Remember, T1 is G1, G2 in series. So G3 parallel T1. This is the transfer function for that. So now, right-hand side. We are moving to the right-hand side. It says to the right-hand side. This is not in, in, in parallel. Why? Because the arrow directions are not the same. You watch the arrow direction, they are all leading to a summing point. But here, this arrow direction is going this way, and this one is coming this way, which means this is not in parallel. This is a closed loop, so we treat it as a closed loop. So it's a feedback loop, okay, negative feedback loop. So we need to combine these two as a negative feedback into one single function. So to do that, we just need to type T3 equals feedback G4, G5. And then here is the sign. Remember, it's a negative feedback negative feedback loop so here is minus one this minus one is the sign okay negative feed so g3 is this now that we have we have simplified this into one single thing called t1 and simplified this into one sorry t2 we've simplified this into a single one now the simplification of this and this are in series so we are going to combine them in series so to combine those one in series say t5 equals t2 t3 in series so Finally, we have T5 equals this. So this is the transfer, the final transfer function of um, the simplification. Okay, so this is all about the question one. Um, so your code, it says we are done with the code. This is question one. So to write in the report writing, now she says you should only copy this. Okay, so you are, you are supposed to only copy the answer. No need to copy the code, only the answer. So I, I made mine, so I'm going to show you so you can use it to question one experiment one are you cv because those were the names so experiment one this is the same one as this is just so, one. so thank you very much we are done with question one we'll continue with question two of experiment one in the next video thank you